the colonial soldiers are about to meet their first test. In a field outside Lexington, 77 militiamen have gathered to block the Redcoat advance towards Concord. John Parker, leader of the Minutemen, knows the British outnumber his forces 10 to 1. He doesn't expect to defeat them. He just wants to send a message. We're here, we have guns, and we're going to resist. Major John Pitcairn, who commands the British troops, doesn't want to fight in Lexington. Running behind schedule, his goal is to secure a bridge farther west in Concord, but Pitcairn is forced to respond to the Minutemen's blockade. Lay down your arms. Pull, do not fire! Neither side wanted a war to start. And, and so they stand there, sort of face to face for a while. Hundreds of professional soldiers confront dozens of militiamen armed with squirrel rifles and buckshot. Both Parker and Pitcairn issue orders not to shoot. And somebody fired. And to this day, nobody knows exactly who fired. Was it a British soldier? Was it an American soldier? Was it a bystander? Who knows? The shot triggers a hail of British bullets. Militiamen are overwhelmed and quickly retreat, some racing into the nearby woods. In 15 minutes, the Redcoats have routed the colonists. When the smoke clears, eight Patriots lay dead, and the British soldiers continue on their way to Concord. The Battle of Lexington seems to confirm the worst, that Americans have no appetite for battle. <laughs>